This is one of the loveliest holds in Skyrim. I agree. Did either one of you happen to catch the dragon that we keep hearing? As if on cue? Nope, I didn't see anything. Great, I wonder where it's hiding. Hello. Hmm. Goat. Always fun. Right, Lydia doesn't know about that. Still here. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take this next song goes out to the Dragonborn, the savior of Skyrim. Oh, just because I just walked in. Um, Delacorte. Need something? Yeah, I am about to have a conversation. If you could take a break, just so that I can parse speech, that'd be great. Sure. My voice could use a rest. Just so that you could parse speech. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is, but something about having, you know, missing out on half of my field of vision means that my ears are working overtime, and it's even harder for me to figure Dang. out what At some point we should people are saying. On here. If she could just spend less time serving Dengir. Never ah, mind. I wish I could afford to pay you both, Nari. I really do. Hey, Marcus Janus. Whoa. From the war, Marcus Janus. It's good that the war is finally over. Hopefully, the people of Skyrim can resume their lives in peace. <laughs> did you just call him from the war, Marcus Janus? I did. Sorry. Uh, we talked to Val. He's agreed to meet with you. Excellent. Well done, my friend. I'm ready to go, but there's just one thing. I'm getting too old for fighting. Well, at least by myself, that is. I was hoping that it wouldn't be too much of a burden on you to escort me to the keep. There's another 250 gold in it for you, if Getting you will. Getting armor, are you? I can help Lydia. you get your plates adjusted, mm. if you'd like. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Sorry, I'm actually- I promise I'm paying attention to you, it's just I- Hearing is hard. I'm right behind you, but don't go too fast. Unlike you young ones, I'm not cut out for this shite anymore. <laughs> Which young ones, them? I'm right there with you, Marcus. I was ready to hang up my halberd back in and... Yeah, never mind. Alright. Are you coming with us or staying here? Right behind you. Alright. Let's go. That answers my question. Yeah, she's an enthusiastic one. Yeah, pretty much. Hey. Short bones. Handsome man in Falkry. Uh... <laughs> just ran into that pole. I- yeah. Don't mind me. Are you gonna keep up? Are you keeping up? We're uh, just gonna go. <laughs> uh, why is it that people are suddenly- I'm confused. I'm just as confused as you are, Yarnvita. As to Need something? why people are suddenly calling you he? Exactly. I see Quintus. I have to admit, I did ask Quintus to try some things out for a while. Um, but that's just Quintus, and he did offer. He. That was a weird and long conversation. Arden was there. It was. Anyway. I'm, uh... I'm just... Going through some stuff. It's fine. Sadia's story didn't seem to add up at all. 
siding with Yalakir seemed like the right choice. I forgot you were there for that. Holy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And it didn't. And company. That might be a bad idea. Okay, careful of the boulders. There is a troll. Okay. Less of a bad idea. Okay. Where? All right. There you are. Where did Lydia go? She's... I think... There she is. I was going to say, I have no idea. I think we got him. Nice work with the shouts. And don't worry, I... Don't... I'm not going to... Pry into whatever you were talking to Quintus about besides your eye. That would be kind of... Nosy of me. And I haven't been accused of being nosy since... The... I forget how far it is to Helgen. Not too far. Slept in the cart, but huh, it's still kind of okay. That's a deer. I thought that was a person for a second. You're a person, though. Okay, I'm fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Mordgood ran off to. Oh. Uh. I mean, Riften? Right? But. Who's this? You alright? Everything. Carrier, probably. The. Yeah. People here don't look nearly as tired as they used to. Rander is a good man. Hmm? Sure. Here we are. Hmm. I see the Hesman's block is still there. Still there? Oh yeah! I got an up close and personal look at it when I first got here. I think they arrested me for crossing the border. They... Did what? I've actually never heard this before. Why would they do that? I don't know. I. They might have mistaken me for someone else. I. Who knows? I never got a reason, I just got put on a list. You know, that kind of goes a long way to explaining why you were so. I guess... I don't want to say unwilling to help the Stormcloak, so I'll just say neutral. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, hey! Hey, Grant! Hey, Kirma! 
Oh. Sorry, I, uh... It, good timing, by the way. I just came up from, um... Rift into White Run. Didn't find you. Looked around, asked around, found that you'd come down here, and... Here I am. By the way, Arden gave me this nazzy new sword. You like it? Do it's glowy. <laughs> mm, he called it Dawnbreaker and said it with this like air of mysticism and importance. So what are you up to? Uh making a delivery, sort of. Pardon me. Hey, buffering. Be well, friend. You too. Valerius Tiberius Arctoria, you old dog. Come here, my friend. Let us have a look at you. Marcus, why have you come here? Valerius, I'm sure this is quite a shock to you and terribly unexpected. I came here to check on my family, but it appears none of them survived. Then I realized you were here, so I decided it was in both our interests for two old Bang. friends to meet again. Lydia? At last. Ah, oh, your brother, yes. Marcus, I'm very sorry. Who is that? But whatever the circumstances, it does later. my eyes good to see you again after all these years. Yes. Same here, old friend. Same here. So, the Keepers of Hatu in Skyrim. Who would have ever dreamed of such a time? All right, Janice, what is it you really want? Don't forget, I know you, so out with it! Yes, you do know me, old friend, better than most. Very well. I aim to rebuild this town, and make her my home. Rebuild? Janice, I have no intention of helping you or anyone else rebuild a town. I'm here on... other business. Yes, yes, I know, Valerius, but if what I propose is true, perhaps we can be mutually beneficial to one another. All I'm asking is that you hear me out. After that, if we're not in agreement, we can part ways and you'll likely never see me again. But Valerius, there's plenty of time to get to all that later. Right now, let's just catch up on old times. Well, you're in luck, Janice. Those bandits left some fresh wine downstairs, and I need a drink. Yes, I could use a drink too, old friend. Let me say goodbye to my new friend, and I'll join you. I can't thank you enough for your help. As agreed, here is your compensation. Thanks. You never mentioned rebuilding Helgen until now. What brought this up? I apologize for that. I certainly wasn't intentionally keeping anything from you. I just wanted to meet with Hilarious before I brought it up. But yes, I want to make Helgen my home. But she certainly has seen better days, that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, I grew up just across the border in Cyrodiil. And Helgen was always a place my family visited when I was a boy. I have many fond memories of those days. And now, with my brother and his family gone, Let's just say he'd be happy that I settled here. And from what I could tell as we came in, it'll be a lot of work cleaning everything up. But nothing impossible. Then we can take a look at what's left of these buildings and begin rebuilding from there. I'm sure there'll be plenty of work for you if you're interested. Why don't you take a day and think about it? That'll give Valerius and I some time to catch up and come up with a plan. Can you return to see us in a day or so? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll bring my crew, sort of. Thank you once again, friend. I'll see you then. Right. Well then, Marcus, let's go get that wine. You're in one piece, so I trust your trip went smoothly. Yes. Fortunately, it was without incident. Of course, I had Patsy to protect me. <laughs> ah, yes, dear Patsy. So... Uh, there's not a more loyal man in all of Tamriel. And I'm pleased the road was kind to you. How long has it been now, Val? Nearly... Let's, uh... It's let's let them do... Long, their thing. So. Alright. Lydia, you haven't met Morgood yet, but this is Morgood. Morgood, this is Lydia, my house Carl. You know, I completely forgot that you're a Thane. And that Thanes come with house Carls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we didn't really hit it off at first, but. Right behind you. She's sort of. We're getting along. 
I think. More or less. Well, that's good to hear. So, uh, what are we gonna do for a day or so? Why those two? Well, those. Sorry. <laughs> well, those two catch up. Uh. But, uh, I don't know. It's the middle of the night. Head back to Falkreath, maybe. Or Whiterun. Or Riverwood. Riverwood's probably closer. Hey, I think so. <laughs> Unless you want to go back to Falkreath and get called a handsome man again. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's let's go to Riverwood. What's this about being called a handsome man? Ah, uh, I bumped into one of the. <laughs> bumped into one of the um I have no idea what they call them here. Uh jeez, running over things. The lady with the broom. <laughs> That's specific. She ran into a tavern girl? I admit, I have no idea either, but serving lady person. Serving lady person. Got it. And she called Kinoa a handsome man, and Kinoa ran into a pole. <laughs> <laughs> we aren't speaking of this. <laughs> we are not speaking of this to anybody. Eh, uh, sorry. Uh, we won't tease ya. I, I mean, it's fine. It's just, I... Mmm. Like I said, Quintus, I... Oh. Quintus, I expected. Bovring and that lady were a surprise. Ah, uh, do I know where I'm going? Not really. Apparently I do. Both roads lead to... Riverwood. We'll go this way. Whew. So you, uh... Did you see the pool, or...? Or good! <laughs> what? I'm just trying to lighten the mood. I don't mean anything by it, I promise. So here's the question, where did Arden get the likes of that sword? That's a pretty... Uh... You know, not something that I would expect someone like him to have. You know, he didn't actually mention it. He just sort of told me it would be in better hands with me than him. I mean, I can see why, but... What a weird thing. Oh! Ah, uh, right. Uh? Uh, uh he... I think he's got someone working on Winterhold, so... Aye. That's good he finally got the team out here. Interesting. Oh. Hmm. What? I'm wondering if I know someone on his team. <laughs> what? Like, uh... uh... I'm just thinking, what are the chances that he's actually talking about Loptir but doesn't want me to know because it's me? The giants won't hurt you if you stay away from them, but they usually have a lot of gold stashed in their camps. Gods know what they do with it. I don't know. Collect it because it's shiny? That'd be my guess. It's my only guess. 
What brought that up? Probably because the inn here is called the Sleeping Giant. I'm glad we gave Movar and Alva what they deserve. Huh. I just remembered about Delphine. What? <clears throat> well, let's see if she's in. Delphine, 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 Delphine! Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Oh, thank the gods. It's just Orgnar. Hey, long time no see. No see. <laughs> we got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Uh, we'll probably need a couple of rooms. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I pun. Anyway. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks, Orgnar. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually rented a room here besides the attic room. They've got an attic room? Uh, no, but it was a... Archery is a good skill to pick up. There's always a good moment between when a foe sees you and when they're close enough to hit you. Do you... Are... Let me know if You're not much of an archer, are you, Lydia? Still here. Yeah, it's... yeah. Alright. Let's go. Let's go take a break, more like. Well, I was going to meditate here. Alright. <laughs> okay, kind. That's a good... good message, I guess. I wanted to talk to you anyway. There you are. Hetzelos. Archethilos. Rambo Kreesovengard. But not yet to this world. I know. I'm glad Alduin troubles you no more. He does not, thanks to you. You begin to remember. I remembered a lot, it feels like. It was a long winter. No longer than any other winter. Vokumna. What haunts you? Myself, I think. But also... My eye. My... Grosis. As ha so. Sorrow not. Your world is still beautiful. That's not... You warned me not to fight. You tried to keep me away, and I didn't listen to you. Need. But you are par. Ambition. I have never been able to stop you. I'm sorry. Sorrow not. You have changed. You acknowledged my warnings this time. This is good. Krongra. Progress. But... Vokuna. You have been changed by your creation, dear one. But never broken by it. This is no different. No, I'm already broken enough, aren't I? Az ha so. Not broken. Simply embers. But embers still burn. You forgive me. You have done nothing for me to forgive. Your body will forgive you in time. My body will... Arang Faz. 
Pain is mourning. Your eye grieves its partner. Your body grieves its wholeness. Romaze. It will forgive you in time. I've never thought about it that way. And am I grieving because I'm not the way I used to be? How do you think you used to be? Stronger. <laughs> More confident. Different. I've never thought of my body as separate before. You have had many. Yeah, and I'm not sure how I feel about this one. But... I feel like I must have been born this way for a reason. Hmm. You have never been reason, dear one. You have never been one thing. You have always been between and both, in whatever ways you have managed to find since the beginning. Even when I was Wolfarth? Even then. Then why this? Why now? What reason? You have never needed a reason. Even when you make decisions that you later come to regret. Like Riften. Vokuna Foluki. But fire creates light. Even crushed to embers, you will reignite. Let the old tree die so a new one can grow. Al Niark. Thank you, Kain. This. I have a lot to think about. I don't want to keep you. You have a lot of souls to guide home because of me. Many who will rest peacefully now, thanks to you. Prusa woundene, Amul. Vasum ven, Kan. Right. Got people waiting for me. a long way. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hey, Dorothy. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. But you seem alright. <laughs> You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't get on my bad side. <laughs> Come on in. Just Kids. open fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Well, looks like everyone's up and ready to go. I'm with you, Thane. Oh, good. Hello. Welcome back. Did you, uh... Right behind you. Everything's good. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just giving Orgnar the hairy eyeball. <laughs> Why? Yeah, well, you know, just scaring the youth a little bit. Hold on! Rayloff! Fight, or die well. How's it going? Uh, well, I don't plan on f fighting or- Alright, we're going. Did dark and Get me mad, and I'll prank you. And not a little, a lot. <laughs> Look out, Lydia, we might get pranked. Do you have a vendetta against that song or something? No, I just... Well met, friend. How can I help you? Uh... I have a lot of respect for red guards, but is it true you call Akatosh Tall Papa? <laughs> In all fairness, <laughs> we Nords used to call Malaka Mountain Fart. <laughs> I didn't know 
Uber. Uh, to be fair, he didn't either. It, it, about either of those? Is that actually true? About Tolpava? That is actually true. Although he's not really Akatosh, he's sort of... Rupka is his own thing. But... God... <laughs> Mountain fart. <laughs> Wind guide you. <laughs> Grand. <laughs> I didn't expect that from you. I expected that from Kidawa, not you. You expected Wind guide me from me? Well, yeah, you're the dragonborn and all that. And, I mean, that's... <laughs> I've been making mouth and fart jokes since before your mother was born. <laughs> Great gods, Lydia. That was... Well done. Well done. Oh my... <laughs> Great, we're gonna be laughing about uh, epithets for Malakath the whole way to Helgen. Ah, uh, thanks, Lydia. <laughs> I needed that. Oh man. <laughs> Lydia, you made me laugh so hard I started crying. That's that's not allowed. Come along, no more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. Boy, he's really behind the ball, isn't he? Yeah, <sighs> just a little. I told you it's the wedding of the Ooh, you might want to change your armor, ma'am. Just saying. Hey, that didn't sound like a threat at all. <laughs> what do you want to bet we're gonna get up here and like They'll still be talking or something. <laughs> oh, probably. Knowing our luck. Oh, they're asleep. We kind of got going bright and early. <laughs> it's too early for mountain farts. <laughs> I started my day with a very serious conversation with the I am glad they weren't far they they weren't close enough to hear that. Hmm. Yep. I forgot. I've heard it's gotten a lot warmer in Falkreed since the third era, and no one is quite sure why. Hmm. I'm gonna guess that that's something to do with the volcano over in Morrowind. Ash gets everywhere. Oh, aye. And believe me, if either of you ever go there, or if any of you ever go there, make sure you wear something on your face because inhaling ash is really, really bad for your lungs, as it turns out. Isn't that how... Yeah, grand, but... Uh, it's... it's fine. Isn't that how what? Uh, uh, well, that's how my actual birth dad died. Oh. From ash? Uh, ash related badness, really. You don't dabble in magic much, do you? Can't say I blame you. I barely trust any of it myself. <laughs> Wait till she meets Arden. <laughs> Seriously. And thanks for changing the conversation. I, uh, I never know how to talk about my actual parents, actually, because, or my birth parents, I suppose, because my mom died 
given birth to me and I didn't know my dad that well so as far as I'm concerned my mom and dad are my mom and dad <laughs> it, and by that I mean you know Hila and Balder your your uh, daughter and son-in-law sort of he's alright I met him <laughs> Grand. But yeah, I never know how to talk about them because everyone expects me to be sad about it, but then I'm like, I didn't... Uh, I've got parents. I, that's... Even if they're not blood related to me, that's more than a lot of people get sometimes. At least in Morrowind. And... I... It's weird. Ah, uh, that's... I get it, talking about parents is... Weird. <laughs> okay, now what do you want to bet? I don't even know where they are. Well, I think they went down because that's where the meat is for wine or whatever they're drinking. Right. They probably have moved by now. Guess there's one way to find out. Luckily, I kind of still know my way around this place. Hard to forget. <laughs> oh, yep, that's still broken. Uh, that looks... Dangerous. Yeah, that almost came down on my head. Anyway. Gods. I think they're still busy. Great. Okay. Let's go. Are they still... Eh, seems like it. Yeah, I don't want to disturb them or press them for time or anything. So... And now, the perennial question... Per that's not probably how you use that word. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. Now the question. The empire's nearly gone at this point, aren't they? Well, I won't complain about the shrines to Talos coming back. <laughs> I might a little bit, but that's fine. Right, the question is, now what do we do? Cuz... Hmm. Yeah, we could go help out in Whiterun, see if... Speaking of... You're getting to be almost as good with a sword and shield as I am. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> You're getting to be almost Let's, as good yeah. with a sword and shield as I am. I'm a bit worried. I think White Run is a good idea. Uh, speaking of shrines to Talos and whatnot. Yep, we did say we were gonna help around there and then got tied up here. Now I'm. Mm. Well, that's. Oh well. What? Uh, well, Yarnvita and I retrieved bits for a file for a guy in Windhelm and it didn't work out. And I was just thinking, oh, we could have saved that for now. Except that then it would have been too late. Hey, hindsight is a bitch, isn't she? <laughs> Not even a pretty one. <laughs> pretty gods. I mean, we could linger around Helgen if you wanted, but... I don't know. No, there's plenty to clean up in Whiterun. They make good progress, though.
Good. Lydia, I can hear you talking. But I can't hear you over the... everything. Sorry. You doing alright? Yeah, I've just... I used to have a lot of trouble picking out people talking. But it was mostly just... I'm walking backwards again. It, it was mostly just in Sentinel that it happened because it was a big... Wolves. You don't have to worry about wolves. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Wait. Um, right, I... I know, and, and, yeah, and wolves. Uh, I told her more good. Hey! Okay, that's, that's good, that's fine. That's actually kind of a relief that you're still sort of okay with things. Yeah. Right, what was I talking about before I have to think about that some more? And try to figure out how I feel about that. It's all about Sentinel. Right, because it was a big city. There was a lot of noise, there was always the sea in the background, and... I had a hard time... They're gone. Okay, and we're back. Don't worry, we're just uh, having a word with my gran. Everything's fine. Yeah, sorry, Morgan. I mean, it's it's fine. I'm I'm all right with it. Uh. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said anything. And let you tell me on your own time. Yeah, that's fine. It, uh, hmm. It happens. Happens. <laughs> yeah, nothing like... I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> But yeah, I used to have a lot more problem than I do now just picking out people talking because of just the sheer amount of background noise and now that I have to focus so much harder on figuring out what's around me with my ears, it's like, <laughs> I, I don't know how you can have elf ears, it's, no offense, I just, like, I know that you hear more than I do. And probably more than I ever will. I don't know how you filter everything out. Armor, are you? I can help you get your plates adjusted if you'd like. Are you? Uh, Lydia, are you in the handsome man from Falkreath camp? Or handsome man in Falkreath camp? I'm. Hmm. 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 The kind. Uh, what was that? The Nothing. Everything's fine. <laughs> uh, kind. Kind. I don't even know what that was supposed to mean. Kind. Please. But the gist of it is that I'm crud, having a hard time again. Not because there's more background noise, but because I have to be aware of more background noise. Oh! That actually makes sense. Sort of sideways. Ooh. How are you doing, by the way? 
with the whole like the eye thing. Uh well I'm I'm no king the I'm no Cayman. <laughs> I'm still I'm going through some stuff. Hey, I don't think anyone would blame you for that. What? All oh, right, the uh never mind. Oh, wind guide me. <laughs> uh.